Good morning. Uh, this is Mr. Barth. On behalf of Mrs. DeRosa and Mrs. Samarco, I will be bringing you a short lesson on how to change decimals into fractions. Uh, we previously had a lesson on how to change fractions into decimals. This is the other way around. We will be using a method called say it, write it, and reduce it. Example number one. Let's take the decimal 0.8. Okay, we're going to say it the correct way. The correct way to say that is 8 tenths. And we're going to write it exactly the way that we just said it. 8 tenths. And then we're going to reduce it. Now the way we reduce it is we find a factor that goes into both the numerator and the denominator. In this case, our best choice is 2. So I'm going to divide both the top and bottom by 2. I'm going to get 4 fifths and 0.8 equals 4 fifths. Example number 2. Next example, I'm going to do 0.23. Let's say that correctly. That is 23 hundredths, and I'm going to write it as a fraction as 23 hundredths. Then I'm going to reduce it. Well, in this particular case, I can't reduce it. The reason I can't reduce it is because 23 and 100 do not have any common factors. All right, so 0.23 equals 23 hundredths, and I'm done. Example three, we go 0.242. If I say that correctly, that is 242 thousandths. I'm getting the thousandths from the fact that this is these decimal places are tenths, hundredths, thousandths. This example only had tenths and hundredths. That's why I use the hundredths. This one only had tenths. Now, another way you can look at this is however many number of decimal places past the decimal is the number of zeros in the denominator. All right, so this one had one spot past the decimal, one zero. Two spots past the decimal, two zeros. Three spots past the decimal, three zeros. All right, well, let's try and reduce this. Now, both these are even numbers, so I'm going to divide both of these by 2. 242 divided by 2 is 121, and 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. And I know this cannot be reduced any further because... These numbers, 500 is made up of all the twos and fives, all right? In fact, all of these numbers, all of these denominators are made up of twos and fives. 10 is 2 times 5, 100 is 2 times 5 times 2 times 5, and 244 is, or 242 is, uh, I'm sorry, 1,000 is 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5, okay? Now, if I, I can take one 2 out, but this is still made up of twos and fives, and 121 uh, is not even, so 2 can't go into it, and it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5, so it's not divisible by 5. So 0.242 equals 121 over 500, and that is fully reduced. And you know it's fully reduced when you cannot, when there is no factor that goes into the top and bottom. All right, let's try one that comes up a lot and seems to be a little tricky. Let's write 0.04. Okay, well this is two spaces out, so these are hundredths, so I'm going to write four hundredths. All right, now I'm going to try and reduce this. I set it four hundredths, I wrote it four hundredths, and now I'm going to reduce it. What number goes into four and a hundred? Well, I could divide this both by two. All right, um, all right well let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to divide both by two. And I'll get 2 over 50. But now they both still have a factor of 2, so I have to do it again. Divide by 2. And this final answer is 125. So 0 0.04 equals 1 over 25. Now the reason I paused is because normally I would notice that 4 went into both of these. And I would divide, divide both by 4. And I would it would come to the same answer anyway. Um, but it might be a little quicker. All right. Last example. All right, let's try. Uh, I'm 
going to go 7.12. Okay, a little different example. Notice this has a whole number there. In other words, a number to the left of the decimal. And I am going to say it correctly. It's not 7.12. This is 7 and 12 hundredths. This is 7 and 12 hundredths. Okay. Now, more or less, I don't have to do anything with the 7 over here. My whole number to the left of the decimal becomes my whole number here, and I'm just reducing the decimal portion or the portion to the right of the decimal and the fraction. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with this. I am going to find a number that goes into 12 and 100. Now, I could start dividing by 2s or 5s and see if that works, um, but I'm going to skip a step here because I know that 4 goes into both these. I'm going to divide both by 4. I notice 4 is just two groups of 2. And this becomes 3 over 25. Add my whole number on there. So 7.12 equals 7 and 3 25ths. Okay. Now notice in every one of these, I set it, and then I wrote it in fractional form the way I set it, and then I reduced it. Now occasionally the reduce is not going to be available because it can't be reduced, um, but a lot of times it will. Okay, so you have to do all three of those steps. Thank you for watching.